for a very long time. Yeah. I was there for orbit insertion, and we've been all seven years in, in space getting there. Getting to orbit was a big deal. So I actually got to be on CNN. But the day I was leaving my home, I was leaving my home, I knew I was going to sleep here at night. I was going to be on CNN all day, sleep here at night for a few hours. Ring imagery was coming down that night because our closest point in the rings was, was, was over you know, when we orbit insertion, and then more media the next day. So we're, they're finally making a big deal about Cassini. We're, we're going to go into orbit. We're going to start our, our, start our tour. And one thing that was really touching for me was as I'm leaving for a day, I know it's going to be one of the biggest days of my life, I'm pulling out of my driveway, and somebody to this day, I still have not passed up to it, sent an American flag in my front yard. <laughs> <laughs> so that, for me, was just, that was the moment. That was the love and the pro moment. That's and on that, no. Well, we'll okay. try it. Okay. It's not. I'll go fast. You know, uh, uh, one that jumps to mind is, is the mission called Deep Impact. And I felt so guilty. People worked their tail off on that. And uh, I came in the last three months just to help them out. I said, if it works, I'll claim excessive credit. If it fails, I'll disavow any knowledge of the mission. <laughs> but I was still working on Cassini. But seeing that first picture where, we, where the comet ran over us and that glorious explosion, you know, of, uh, uh, of uh, gas and dust coming off the comet. I remember being in this room. I was just, I was giggling like a schoolboy. There's just so many moments like that. You can put a name to it. Is that the one that was on the 4th of July? Yes. 